G'day guys, it's Wayne and Judy here from Down Under. This is a Wilcox and Gibbs that we've just picked up. Look at it in the gorgeous box with the uh, shipping um, labels on it. We've even got the complete story of the journey of where those labels actually come from. But anyway, this is about this little baby here, Ida. So we've picked it up. She was as solid as a rock. We had a lovely lady send it to us who we're looking forward to her coming for a visit and visit it. But she was as solid as a rock. So this morning we've got it out and all we've done is just oiled it. And moving the wheel backwards and forwards, you could see it had about a sixteenth of an inch play, which told us that there was movement. You could actually see underneath at the looper that there was actually tiny movement. So that told us that across here there was movement. So we put our finger on this and then moved the wheel up and down and there was absolutely no movement from here to the needle. So that told us that the bottom was working and there was no movement here. So it was either going to be seized in the shaft in there, in this mechanism here, on this bolt through here, or through these two sleeves. And through our little bit of experience we decided that these sleeves are going to be the actual problem. So we went backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and it just would not budge. So then we came out and used a thing that I call a bit of butch. So we got yeah, be very careful and respect everything about this. So what we did was we just gave it a tiny few taps up there and then a tiny few taps back again just tiny little taps and eventually we saw that there was just a tiny bit of movement in there and you can see it with the oil the minute you get some movement so that basically meant that it had rusted either on the top of these two or somewhere in that shaft and we had actually broken the rust hold so now we've, you can see here, it's still not moving freely, but the difference is, and as we go backwards and forwards, we will just get more and more movement. It's a bit difficult to do this because I'm trying to do it with one hand, but now you can see, just with, already you can see, the movement is becoming much and you can see down here the brown that means that we've got rust actually coming out of it from the oil so let's here you can now see that there's oil coming through both sides of that so that's telling us that that's all looking good so we'll just work it backwards and forwards Don't overdo it. Oh, look at that. Now we've got the complete rotation. And that, my friends, is what we call controlled butch <laughs> and success. So respect the machine. Don't be afraid to give it a little clout. A gentle clout. <laughs> a gentle clout. So just in that few minutes, just with us sitting here, you can see what a little bit of butch and a lot of love <laughs> can provide. So hopefully we'll get this going. And um, good luck with you. But just respect it, understand, and when we say gentle, we do mean gentle. Thank you very much for watching. So it's Wayne and Judy signing off.